PeachTool.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete from Peach Tools. Great to see you here again today. Hey, boy, she's blowing here today. She's blowing a gale. If you hear a sudden ripple or a crash, don't worry. It's just the roof of the garage coming off, guys. Anyway, today what I'm going on about is, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos or not, when I'm plasma cutting, I always pull my stuff off the table because I can't cut like through my table, obviously. So today I want to have a bit of a go on making a DIY plasma cutter table. Just something simple, guys, so I can just lift my work off my table and it doesn't try and burn through the table underneath. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com and uh, let's get into this, eh? Now this is my table guys, this is what I use when I do all my videos and as you can see it's not very flash, it's just a piece of angle iron on the front there a piece of angle iron on the back and it's got a piece of about 4mm plate welded to it well it's not even welded all the way across but um, you can guess where I picked it up from guys of course I got it from the local tip didn't I, I got it from the local dump so anyway that'll do Pete so when I want a plasma cut something I always pull it across the table so I can cut the edge so I'm not cutting through my table because A it won't cut through the table and B it buggers up the cut on the top so well, I got sick of doing this, so I thought to myself, I thought to myself, I thought to myself, let's try and make something that just sits on top of the table here that I can use as a plasma cutter table. And then when I'm finished with it, I can take it off because I have my vice down the other end of my table here. See, I'll show you guys. See, I have my vice there too, guys. So it's a pretty good little table, really, considering I got it for free. You know how it is. Anything for free is good. That's my theory anyway. So what we want to do is make something to go on top of that table, or even half the table, so I can plasma cut it, so I don't have to pull my stuff off. Because pulling it off the table all the time, guys, is the right pain in the bum, but I think it is anyway. See what I mean? You have to pull it off like that, pull it over, and then start cutting. I'm sure you guys got the same problem. That's all very well, cutting it there, it's brilliant, but if I try and pull that back there and cut it on top of the table here, we're going to have all sorts of issues. It won't cut properly and it, the sparks fly up and it just gets awfully horrible. Anyway, Pete, stop waffling and let's try and make something, eh? So what I thought I'd do, guys, is sort of like it's just a little frame that we can sit on here and if we go like, oh, uh, what, we'll say about 500, about, yeah, 500 square would probably do it from there to there, there, and if we go across there, 500 square would do it and that will give me a working area here where I should, could place my cut on solid ground rather than having to drag it off the top of the table. So what I come up with was the length of the old box section that I had out the back of the garage. So I thought I'd use this and it's about 2.4 metres long. So if we whack four parts into 500, we should be right so that I can uh, make a little square and that'll be the frame for my table. And uh, where do you think I got this from guys? You guessed it, the dump. Here we go guys, four 500 mil lengths of box section. Just clean them up a bit with a grinder guys, so don't rip your hands to bits, especially if you're not wearing gloves like me. Just like that guys, piece of cake, <laughs> Right guys, got my four hunks of box section, all I'm going to do is just lay them out into a square, well a rough square, and because I'm only um, doing little cuts on the plasma cutter at a time, I don't really need a big area, just a little like half metre square thing would do me fine I think. And because I'm not plasma cutting big areas guys, I'm only doing normally little circles or whatever I'm doing, doing holes or bits and pieces, you know me. I don't really need the whole table, so it's just like half the table is perfectly fine for me. But if you're going to make one of these guys, and you've got a big table, of course you've got to make it the size that you want to use yourself. And as you can see guys, my table is not level either. The top of it goes up and down like that, and it drops down here. So what I'm going to have to do when I tack well with this little frame, I'll just have to hold it up and just tack it until we get it relatively square. And then I'll turn it over and we'll weld it up from the bottom, I think. That was 
spin around the other way, guys, and just catch this side up. I'm just getting it as square as I can, guys. With my table's on square. Right, guys, that's roughly what I want. So what I'll do now is I'll just zap it up, and we'll weld it up, and then we'll carry on. Now guys, we just flip them over, do the same thing. What I'll do now guys is just clean up these welds so it sits flat on the table. Not that my table's that flat anyway, but at least we can try and make it as flat as possible. So I'll do this side and then I'll just flip it over and quickly do the other side guys. There you go, rough enough guys. <laughs> so I've got some three mil here guys. Um, I think it's relatively square on this end anyway, so I'll use it from this end. And we want 500, so we need my slats 500 long. So I'll just uh, mark out 500 and I'll whack it off here at 500 and then we'll just chop it up like that. But notice what I'm doing there guys, I've pulled this thing across the table again because the edge of my table is here and I can't cut onto my table, so it's the right pain in the ring I reckon when you've got to pull it over like that. So after we make this guys, it should be a bit easier to cut because I'll be able to cut on top of the table and push down on it rather than on one side of it. Anyway guys, let's get into it. So you need 500 feet, so let's call that square. Well, I'll call it square. Probably isn't, but I can call it whatever I like, I suppose. <laughs> right, so we've got 500 here. And we'll come down here. Alright, let's do it. Right, so we'll just cut this off, guys. Right, let's cut the first flat, eh? What I'll do guys is I'll use the first one, I'll just use it as a template and just mark it out where we want to cut the next ones. Don't have to be precise because you can turn them up the other way of course. See a lot of them got this dross on from the plasma cutter guy. I just belt it off, it's just easy to get it off like that. Like so, just clean it up a little bit. Beautiful, don't have to be too fussy anyway, like I say, because it's going to get burn marks on the top of it anyway in no time at all. We just want to be able to quick and easy replace them. See how that dross just flies off there guys? There's another lot with a whole lot more on there. So 
Dave's mucking around with the grinder, eh? That grinder noise just really gets annoying after a while, like it does. Anyway, this is not too bad, this one. This one's alright. This one's got a bit of crap on it, guys. This one's the same. See, you left with all this, all this dross here. Heaps of it, eh? Pity I couldn't find a use for that. Righty, righty, coyote. Now let's just tap weld these if I measured them right and they actually fit in the hole. <laughs> we'll tap weld these into here, eh? That's what I've done here, guys. Just got a couple of off cuts with my 40 by 40 box. I'm just going to use these as a spacer so it spaces out the slats 40 mil. So let's, uh, let's weld some up, eh? So I'm just going to tack these in here with my MIG welder. Guys, I wonder if my measurement was actually right. These actually fit. Look at that. That was a good fluke, wasn't it, Pete? Hee <laughs> hee! There we go guys, got the slats all in there, like so, not too bad for a boy. Now because this is only 3mm it's quite flexible but I want it to be flexible and I don't want it to be welded in there really 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 tough because once you burn these out you can just replace them easy A, just tap it out and just weld another slat in there. And because it's 3mm I have lots and lots of these off cuts around the place so it'll work out good for me I reckon guys. Anyway, what do you reckon? We'll give it a go, eh? Give it a crack, Nigel, see if it works. Yeehaw! So guys, will it work or won't it work? Got my earth clamp in here and the side of my box section. Let's give it a go, Pete. Yeehaw! Well, guys, I told you art wasn't my strong point, didn't I? <laughs> well, let's see if it actually looks like anything at all, guys. Well, look at that. <laughs> One deformed kiwi. Grandma. <laughs> anyway guys, that obviously works. I'm quite impressed with that actually. I can actually push down on the table and it didn't destroy my slats, so that's good. Awesome. Good day's work, Pete. Yeehaw! Anyway guys, that worked out quite well, I thought. Put it on your table, cut out what you need. You don't have to hang over the edge of your table like I was doing, which is a real pain in the bum. Anyway guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come see me at peachtools.com. And come see what me and the deformed Kiwi are doing next week. See you later, guys. Bye. PeachTools.com.